In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for SrOH2 plus CH3COOA. This is strontium hydroxide, and this is acetic acid. So first, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation up here, and we can see that this right here, the acetate ion, we have two acetate ions. So I'm just going to put a two in front of the acetic acid. So that balances this part here, this acetate ion. Then I have the two hydrogens plus these two hydrogens. So I have four total hydrogens. I'm going to put a two here. That balances those. I have two times one, two oxygens, two times one, two oxygens. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. And it's a little tricky with this one. Strontium hydroxide is considered a strong base. So we're going to write AQ. It'll dissolve and dissociate. Acetic acid is considered a weak acid, but it will dissolve. So it's going to be aqueous. It just won't split apart into its ions very much. Water is a liquid. And then strontium acetate, if you know your solubility rules, acetates are very soluble. This will be soluble dissociate into its ions. So we have the states. We'll come back to this acetic acid in a minute. Next, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. Strontium's in group two, that'll be two plus. And the hydroxide, the whole thing is one minus. Good one to remember. So we have SR two plus, I'll write the states later. And then we have two of these hydroxide ions here. So two OH minus. For the acetic acid, we said it's a weak acid, so it's a weak electrolyte. We don't split weak electrolytes apart into their ions. So we're going to just keep this as 2CH3COOH. Note, sometimes you'll see this as C2H4O2. It's the same thing. I prefer this way. So we have our reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split liquids apart, so we'll have 2H2O, and then the acetate, we said 2 plus, the acetate ion here is 1 minus. So we have our strontium ion, SR2 plus, and then we have two of these acetate ions, 2CH3COO minus. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. If I look at the reactants and the products, I see I have the strontium ion here and here. So that's a spectator ion. We can cross that out. Everything else, though, is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for strontium hydroxide plus acetic acid. Let me clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for SrOH2 plus CH3COOH. You'll note that we have two in front of each one of these substances. So we can reduce that down to one, but by convention, we don't write the one. So this is the balanced net ionic equation again for strontium hydroxide plus acetic acid. If you note charge is balanced, we have a negative charge on the reactants and we have a negative charge in the products. So charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.